Joining us now is Saurav Ganguly, a former Indian captain uh, on uh, and, and wants to talk about... Uh, Saurav, let's, let's actually get straight to Mahindra Singh Dhoni's 33rd birthday. Uh, it's been, what have been the highlights of his career for you? I think a lot. I know he's been a marvellous captain for India. The World Cup wins, winning the World Cup in 2011, the 2007 T20 World Cup, winning the ICC T20, uh, ICC 50 over competition, the Champions Trophy. His, his, his record has been phenomenal for India. I wish him very well on his birthday, a very, very happy birthday. He will be in England. Uh, I hope he has a great time. I'm sure his family is with him. And then I wish him all the success for the series. Glorious. All right, so Buriam Majumdar is a group edit, consulting editor for sport at India Today Group. Uh, he joins us right now live from England, Buria, a young side that's travelled over there. No Sachin or Dravida Lakshman. Can they turn it around this time? You know, I would want to see it from another perspective. I mean, on the one hand, while we say that this is a young Indian team and this has, you know, they've not done it in the past, so they have a lot of pressure. Look at it this way. In 2011, there was Sachin, Dravid, Lakshman and everybody else. And what did they achieve? They achieved nothing. It was a 0-4 drubbing. So these people actually don't have the baggage of expectations like the way these legends had at one point in time in 2011. I mean, people expect India to be underdogs. People expect that this is a gargantuan, Herculean task for these youngsters. Having said that, if these people can rise up to the challenge you know, and boys become men, this will be a huge, huge step forward in their own careers. Imagine Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, Shikhar Dhawan, Cheteshwar Pujara standing up to Anderson Broad and the others and what that will mean for their careers. So this is a golden opportunity. This is a golden opportunity to become real, very good test cricketers. Sir, coming to you on that, uh, 4-0 drubbing the, uh, three years ago, that will surely be at the back of Dhoni's mind as he goes into the series. How is it going to affect his plans? I don't know whether it's going to haunt him or not. Uh, obviously, the, he will remember it. It's not that he can forget the losses. And I think it can work. You know, probably they'll get, be a, a lot more determined. It can work positively on the team. They can, they'll come out a lot more determined. They'll also fancy their chances against this England side, to be honest. That side in, in England in 2011 was a top side. And this is a side which is rebuilding. So. I think they will fancy their chances against this team and, and I'm sure Dhoni will learn from the mistakes of, of the previous tour and, and hopefully uh, will do a better job this time as a team. So, Arav, in India's biggest challenge remains its bowling lineup, of course. Do they have the skill to take 20 wickets every game? I think they have if the spinners bowl well. I think the spinners are the key. It's the second half on the tour of England and the spinners have a massive job to do. If Ashwin and Jareja are in good form, I think India will pick 20 wickets. All right, Saurav Borea, many thanks for that. Uh, now we spoke with Kapil Dev as well. Remember, he won a World Cup in England and he feels fitness will be the key for success this tour. My colleague caught up with the former India captain who talked about the players to watch out for and what we can expect from them. Not too many Indian players of this generation have played a five test match series, uh, such as the, the, the way things are at this point in time. India is set to play against England in a full series and we got the one and only Kapil Dev joining us. Kapil sir, uh, that in itself, that uh, you know, this is a rather long tour. How do you see that playing out? Uh, if in that sense, it's important to start well and th do you see this team being able to sustain that through a five test series? I think let's... Uh one can say we played enough 2020 one day cricket let's enjoy test cricket also i think it's uh, it's all depend how you make uh, your mind out of that uh, the last time india went to england uh, they were whitewashed would that be at the back of a mind a revenge would be in the team psyche you think i don't think so i think there's too much cricket has gone in between three years and uh, it looked totally different team uh, let's hope they don't have a bad thought back of their mind and just enjoy play and have fun what, what sense do you get of this indian team are you comfortable you, you see them doing well in a full series i think it's if the fitness is okay then it's uh, they will do well uh, in england if you have to survive for five test matches your bowlers and the batsmen both have to click at the right time the challenge always, sir, is uh, who will take those 20 wickets. Uh, who do you think is the leader of this seam attack? They're going in with as many as seven seamers. Uh, you know? If nobody is that level who can say he's the head of the pack, but if everybody start chip in wherever, whenever they get ball in their hand and start performing, I think that's important. India is going without Zahir Khan in this series. Will that be a factor? Yeah, when you miss out such a big player, it is. But 
he is not there, he is not young anymore. But you will always miss Sachin, you will always miss Rahul Dravid, Varinder Sehwag, uh, Lakshman. But when they are not there, they are not there. You can't really sit and cry for that. Zahir Khan done his job. I think he served the country so well and uh, he made us happy many, many occasions. So if he's not there, we can't sit and cry for that. You made a point recently that you know Ishan Sharma uh, needs to sort of buck up and, and, and lead the attack. He's now played more than 50 test matches. Uh, do you think uh, it's, it's for him to sort of pull up his socks? He is more experienced as compared to other bowlers, but uh, if he bowl well, then everybody will be charged. If your senior cricketers don't bowl well or don't perform, then the pressure keep on coming to everybody. What about the batting, sir? I mean, the likes of uh, you know, Shekhar Dhawan and Murli Vijay have opened. Do you see someone like Gautam Gambhir breaking into the playing 11? Oh, he's uh, very talented. Uh, he have done it before also. There will be no any problem about that. Uh, if he have to come in, I don't think so. That uh, will bother anybody. But uh, it's all depend captain who have he has a confidence and which are the player who is looking better form.